what that was like. Um, Rehabilitation, first of all, the way it worked is that you had a lot of people who worked for United, uh, for UNICEF, uh, who went in and set up the center and then employed um, uh, local staff, Sierra Leoneans, who were willing to be with us. So these people who are for UNICEF will go into this bush and talk to the commanders and release some of these kids. Now, I don't know what they said to the commanders to this day, I don't know. Whatever they said, they were very curious and I'm glad they did it. Um, but when you remove from this, because I've been in the war for several years and I've come to believe that that was my life and nothing more. So when I was removed from the war, I was completely upset because to me it was, I felt like I was being removed from family again, the second time around. So I felt deceived and I didn't know these people who were to me. So when I came to the rehabilitation center, there was a reluctance of being there, not because I didn't want to be there because I, violence is the only thing I knew, but because I needed time to be able to believe that these are the people who will save my life. I didn't know that. And so there was that reluctance. And in the beginning, there was a withdrawal from the drugs, and there was learning how to live without the violence anymore, because every day of our lives is being with violence. And all of a sudden, that stops. You're not taking the drugs. It's a withdrawal from the drugs. You have to learn to trust people. Uh, during the center, I encountered one woman, who, uh, Esther, who was a nurse, who was very kind to me. Actually, the first time I related to her, I tried to tell her the most, one of the most horrible stories I could think of during the war as a way of making, telling her the story so that she would be afraid of me, so she would not ask me questions anymore. But that didn't go the way I intended it to go. Because that just made her even more curious and wanted to be closer to me. But the people at the center, these children, millions, their willingness to see us as children, even though we had become so really horrible people was what changed our lives. Their selflessness, their willingness to be there. We would hurt these people. We were at the center. We were violent kids. We would grab the staff members and beat them up and they fainted. We would stab some of them. They would go to the hospital. They come by banding head, arm, and things like that, limping. And the first things they would say was, like, Oh, it's not your fault. Have you had any food? How are you doing? We used to think to ourselves, these people were really crazy, they were more crazy than we are. <laughs> because they kept coming back. But eventually, because they kept doing that, I think we realized that there was something that they saw in us that we couldn't see. That there's something about us that was still worth saving. And that's why we started relating to them slowly. And, and, but these people were so skilled to the sense that, I'll share one last story and then I'll stop talking about rehabilitation. <laughs> there was, I learned this a few years ago, and you know, I haven't shared it with most of my friends back in Australia who came to the rehabilitation center. During the rehabilitation center, we will fight each other, the neighbors, and things like that. And we will have these sports games, like soccer matches. And if we lost the soccer games, we will fight each other, fight the team. And all, when we started winning these soccer games, we will win the soccer games and we will fight at all. We will talk about it for weeks. And I believed for most, for many years, that we are quite remarkable sort of players. <laughs> Until not so long ago, I learned that they actually realized that they spoke to the neighborhood teams, they fixed the games. <laughs> so that, because if we lost the games, we became really violent and fought each other. But if we won the game, we were peaceful, we went to classes, we went to <laughs> And some friends who were reminiscing with me and they said, You remember those soccer games we used to win? And I was like, Yeah, I cannot bring myself to tell them. <laughs> the games, you know, were really, really, I mean, we still have some skills, but not as much as we thought. <laughs> but this, this was the level of commitment that these people had. They were willing, these people were not trained psychologists or anything, they were just willing to find ways to make it to engage us so that we can start deviating from the life that we 